Hi everybody. Um, so this is just a video I'm gonna make to kind of catch people up on uh, my life, what's been going on the last couple years, um, and to maybe encourage you guys to do the same and to see um, where you guys are at and what's been happening, both good and bad. Um, I think I, last time I made a video, mainly for the people I met in Jamaica and people at old colleges and um, just people from wherever point in my life I met you was uh, when I was working at HD Supply a couple years ago. So to give a quick update, since then, um, July, July 6th, I think, of 2018, even after two years, um, I didn't really want to, but um, the last rental house me and my roommates moved out to had really bad toxic mold poisoning. And well, um, I got really sick, so um, I actually almost died. I had, my brain was shutting down, I couldn't breathe, but um, after the worst of that, obviously I'm still here. I, uh, my body was just really weak and fatigued and my muscles weren't working and um, it felt like a severe form of Lyme's disease. So that made work very difficult because I worked HD Supply Home Depot. So it was delivering appliances, construction stuff, uh, stuff for hotels, how, uh, schools, you know, bulk stuff. So it was all a lot of physical labor and normally I've done that for a lot of my life and I didn't mind doing it, but um, I just, my body couldn't handle it anymore. So I left, got a job at CarMax uh, and they apparently want to teach you the whole system there and that didn't really work out because they kind of lied about what it would be like. They were very understaffed and trying to push people to be able to do everything in a week or two and which should take you six to 12 months to learn. So that was insane. So that didn't work out. And then um, tried a few other things that didn't work out. So I've been unemployed for, I don't know, four or five months uh, collecting unemployment. But during all that time, um, God's blessed me through, I mean, me even being able to collect unemployment and I've been through that one time before and saw his sovereign hand throughout it when I applied everywhere I could, interviewed everywhere I could and just nothing was coming out, nothing was working out. And, um, I kind of just think that I am a person that loves working and I feel very purposeful behind it as a man and just as a Christian and a person. So I think God knows my heart and the ways to challenge me through big trials are um, being unemployed. It's my second time. Well, the first time was six months after I did UPS and I was trying to get a full-time job with them. All was going really well. They just didn't have enough. Um, and I just, I didn't want to be unemployed, but that was just the situation. So God taught me a lot through that trust and waiting in his timing. And then six months later, he hooked me up with uh, HD supply, which is which is the job that for two years um, was the job I was able to um, not only get some good overtime and make some good money and pay off most of my debt, but um, it's where I listen to about a thousand hours of podcasts all related to health and wellness. It's how um, the, the second biggest part of my testimony is how I used to take medication for ADD and God used that job to um, teach me all the, just a lot of health principles. I changed my diet, removed a lot of the bad stuff change my lifestyle, was just learning everything I could. And, and, and throughout that time, maybe six months into the job, I was taking medication during the week and I wasn't taking it on the weekend. And I actually felt better on the weekend than what I did during the week. So how crazy is that? But um, I eventually worked with my doctor to get off medication during the week and almost a year and a half coming on two years, I haven't been taking medication for something that you know, I grew up with my whole life and didn't even know until I was 20, I got diagnosed. And it's just kind of an awesome testimony to see how God used it in my life to limit me and stretch me and grow me. And something that I always questioned and never understood um, is now something that I've been miraculously healed from. And I owe that all to God's exact perfect timing and providence from all my old jobs, all the experiences I've had. UPS, other jobs, other work experiences that have led me to the exact perfect time he had to give me a job at HD Supply for two years to give me that time to just learn. I mean, I almost felt like I got to listen to about a thousand hours. And then, um, so, I mean, I spent 10, 12 hours a day. So really I felt like I got a bachelor's degree in health and wellness. And then to top it off, um, 
um, just my journey to want to be a health coach and use what I learned to help people. Uh, last December, I started searching for programs and colleges were kind of too expensive and weren't going to really work out. So I, God led me to Institute of Integrative Nutrition. And that's been amazing. I've learned so much there. It's been extremely affordable. It worked with um, the timing because it's all online when you're able to do it. So I learned a lot of the intricacies of counseling techniques and how to actually coach people and take all I learned and kind of um, really focus less on the master's level science behind it and just making practical ways to, to help people as a coach and a counselor. So I literally just took my last final week ago, um, met all my graduation requirements and I get my certificate in the mail in a week. Um, so while things have been um, pretty difficult lately with being unemployed and different things not working out. And I'll be totally honest, there's a lot of time I spent um, at home just kind of depressed or crying or wondering what's going on or um, why did all this happen or why aren't things working out, blah, blah, blah. But I've been here before and I know um, it's really just driven me to get on my hands and knees and pray and be closer to God and read the word more and um, kind of just give me a different perspective on suffering and all that I've been through that I think will be really beneficial um, going forward to be able to help people who've been in these similar situations that I now better understand what a lot of difficult things are like. And I also believe Romans 8, 28, and even the verses before and after that, that God had a plan and purpose for it and we'll use it for our ultimate good and ultimate good. The ultimate good doesn't just mean that I'll be happier in my best life now. It means um, my sanctification, getting closer to him, trusting him better. Um, that ultimate good also might be Years from now that I can't see helping people who've been through things that I have not been through that I never thought I would go through, but I have, and um, it's kind of so far seeing the process of life and how that works. So, um, yeah, I'm super excited to be where I'm at. I also, uh, for those two, two and a half years that I did get super, super sick, saw a bunch of doctors. I mean, that was, I don't know how much I told you guys before, but that was a huge nightmare. I mean, we had mold and old. Uh, rental house and the landlord denied it didn't take care of it got insanely sick and then um, we tried to move out but we couldn't break our lease and we got the township involved and they made some recommendations but it was kind of most of the damage was already done and it was too late um, honestly it's probably a big lawsuit that's waiting to happen but there's just some intricacies to mold cases that a lot of doctors won't definitively say it was that and it's a hard case to win so um, I might pursue that someday but for now for now, no, but um, yeah, I mean, in the end, God is good, and it's just amazing to see that despite everything I've been through that he's provided, and I'm sure he'll continue to provide, and honestly, I'm super, super excited to get started my career as a health coach, whatever that looks like, um, whether it's on my own or with a company, or um, we'll kind of see where that's going to go in the future, but I'm definitely Really excited to be able to take what I learned, what I apply, what I've tried, both stuff that's been kind of extreme that I've gone through and learned the hard way and different diets and different forms of fasting and different times of sleep and just the list could go on and on, but it um, became my biggest passion for sure. Um, and even then through a lot of that, I learned that it's awesome to see how God created us and how we're meant to live and how, um, how we can feel much better, but it also leads to in the end, these things are not more important than our spiritual life. And I think that's also what God has taught me lately, that for a while I went on a deep dive about all this and just was fascinated by it, wanted to learn everything I could. Um, it made a lot of changes. It, it made a big difference in my life physically, but I also realized that um, my spiritual life was slowly slipping away a little bit. And, um, and I had to definitely get that back on track. And I think um, what's happened lately has been has enabled me to do that. So I kind of am keeping that in perspective. So yeah, so for anyone in Jamaica, both um, people that live there and um, all the team members I met, I mean, it's been, I guess it's coming up on five years this year, which is insane how it feels like yesterday. And those relationships meant the world to me, um, who I've been able to just interact with and um, been encouraged by and hopefully been able to be an encouragement to. Um, so I just would love to hear how you guys are doing, if you're in school, if you're working, um, who you're living with, if you got married, where you're at in life. 
uh, what you're honestly, if you're willing to be honest, great. Tell me what your, what your struggles have been and what, um, what you've, God's been teaching you and what you've been going through and, um, what you're doing good in, what you're excited about and what, um, just where you're at in life. So feel free to make a video like we did a couple years ago or whenever it was and just tell me how you're doing. I'd love to hear from you guys. All right. I'll talk to you guys later.